Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for September the 16th, 2021. I'm sorry I had to take a couple of days off. I just was feeling really under the weather. I just needed to get my energy back. But I'm feeling a lot better now, which is good. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all well. We are coming up to the full moon in Pisces on the 20th. So we shall see. We're still a little bit out from that, but we'll see what sort of energy in the next couple of days. We'll see that starting to ramp up and the moon in Pisces. Oh, it loves being in Pisces. So it's going to be an interesting moon, very powerful, creative, immersive, I would say. So could potentially be a moon we all get lost in, but it, we'll see. We'll see what's coming through for today anyway. and see what the energy is with the cards. Okay, I just needed to get a little bit of September 16th into these cards. And then we go, the Four of Cups, something's on offer. Maybe not sure about it, looking at something. There you are looking at it again <laughs> from a whole heap of different angles. And then we have the Temperance energy. Are you ready to dip your toes in with this one? Oh, lots of Saggy energy coming in. Temperance and the Knight of Wands. So perhaps looking at some new long-term goals that are coming through. And the King of Swords. So interesting energy. Oh, and the Ace of Cups at the base. That's lovely. Uh, with that and the Temperance energy, there's a lot of healing energy coming in today, which is actually very beautiful. And it can bring really good for your health good for your health day kind of day good day if you need to get anything checked out health wise or you want to go see a practitioner also a good day for that with these two cards coming in you might find the right person you might actually feel like you can overcome sometimes it's good for those little niggly things you know have a sore back might go and see somebody you know and might sometimes we live with these aches and pains for a while and we don't do anything about it this might be the day that you you know can have a little bit of a mini breakthrough with your health somehow like that uh, but anyway if you're not going to see somebody that's fine there's still healing coming through and there's this lovely sense of things starting to flow balance coming back and being restored with the temperance card right in the center and I, what I love about this is that uh, there's one foot in the ground and one foot in spirit and that's why we're kind of seeing this interestingly with the, the cups and the page of pentacles is that there's something you're looking at from all different angles from a very pr practical pragmatic angle uh, and also from an angle of how's this going to bring uh, some growth emotionally for me how am I feeling about this so it's finding that nice balance between uh, you, how those two things flow. And again, it's uh, with that, Sag but that Sagittarius energy, uh, new paths might be opening or looking at new ways to be doing things that have, you know, a longer term health benefit for you. So this is really all about, um, you know, wanting to maybe, yeah, meet some new people like that's why I'm kind of getting with this healthcare thing that maybe it's someone new that you're drawn to or maybe you're being referred to or you hear of someone on the through the the web and you're just kind of like oh yeah maybe that person could be interesting to go see anyway I'm just getting that healthcare is perhaps going to be a theme for the day <laughs> but with the Knight of Wands, this feels like making some really, really positive changes that will help things start to flow in your life, which is actually really nice. And then I feel like you're kind of uh, sitting with something because the Sagittarius energy that's coming in really strong, yes, it is about shooting the arrow long term and having a long term goal, but it's not, it's about experiencing all the experiences that you've had throughout your life and what you think you're going to experience through these new this new energy that's coming in here especially related to your health but whatever's on offer here there's something on offer that you're contemplating and it really is thinking what kind of experience are you going to get out of it <laughs> is kind of the general energy and then we have the king of swords which is that very detached aquarius energy of just looking at something very rationally so these are all nice energies they feel kind of quite experienced like uh, sensory almost and it's like I'm right in there how am I feeling how am I blah blah blurring and then the king of swords this energy comes in and it's quite okay let's look at it from a higher perspective let's be really rational about this 
and what is it that I need to be bringing some things back into balance and to feeling like I'm, I'm on the right path for me particularly to do with my health. I keep getting that. But the, the temperance card doesn't have to necessarily mean that because sometimes it's a nice energy because it brings this lovely, smooth, soft energy to the day where everything like feels okay. And uh, it shows you where something perhaps was out of balance uh, and you didn't realize it. Sometimes, like I said, we can live with these things and not really realize it. So this is where I think you're being shown perhaps an answer to that and it's very much like uh, the king of swords is a decision maker yes I want to do something about this and bring some healing into my life so it's ultimately a very lovely energy that's coming through today but it does require you to make a decision to do something uh, but I think that the way that you're going about looking at assessing and uh, looking at it is actually a very nice gentle way so yeah, it's it's nice energy coming through for today and ultimately bringing healing and balance. So that's the message for today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.